since almost all barbarian nations have drunk Roman blood and torn apart our bowels, why is it that our God delivered the wealthiest state and the richest people who bear the Roman name to the most potent jurisdiction of enemies who were once most cowardly? Why? Unless that we may acknowledge that it was a question of merit, not of strength. Events prove that God judges about us and about the Goths and the Vandals. They increase daily, we decrease daily. They prosper, we are humbled. They flourish, we are drying up. Truly there is said about us that saying which the divine word spoke of Saul and David. Because David was strong and always growing more robust, the house of Saul grew less daily. If human weakness allowed it, I would wish to shout beyond my strength so that I would be echoed over the whole world. You, O Roman people, be ashamed. Be ashamed of your lives. Almost no cities are free of evil dens, are altogether free of impurities, except these cities in which the barbarians have begun to live. It is not the natural vigor of their bodies that enables them to conquer us, nor is it our natural weakness that has caused our conquest. Let nobody persuade himself otherwise. Let nobody think otherwise. The vices of our bad lives have alone conquered us. Even before the break of the Roman Empire, Britain had given Europe the heretic Pelagius, a well-read amateur of theology, possibly a doctor. He settled in Rome and was busy in 405 writing books and teaching. His version of Christianity credited human nature with more self-determination than the Church cared to admit. He stressed freedom and moral responsibility, and denied original sin, insisting that human beings were not born tainted. His social outlook was left of center, and he discussed topics more familiar today than they were then, such as the layperson's vocation in the Church. Pelagius was big, easygoing, reluctant to dogmatize, Unfortunately, he attracted disciples who did. The Briton came under fire from the great Augustine, that somber thinker who expounded the concept of the city of God. 